Hi everyone, Abaji here again and this time we are here for Windows users. In this video, we will look at how to install Python 3 and Django in Microsoft Windows 10. This would work with any recent version of Windows. And as usual, all the steps will be available at appcoms.com blog site where you can copy and paste as you are following the videos. And to find these steps, you can go to appcoms.com and click on the search button and type how to install Python 3 and Django in Windows. So that will take you to this blog post. If you have not subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button so that you will not miss any videos from us. Alright, so here are the steps. Step number one is to download Python 3 from python.org by clicking on this link or you go to www.python.org which I already have open here. So go to downloads and click Windows. Alright, so scroll down and click latest Python 3 release. I'm going to scroll down again and choose the version that will work with my operating system. So currently I'm running Windows 10 and it is a 64-bit version. So right here I have Windows X86-64 executable installer. That's the version that I'm going to download. So if you're not sure which one to download, you can type, you can, you can click on the start button and type system info and press enter. So right here, system type, you will see the type of windows that you're using. So I'm using x64 base PC. So that means I have to download the 64 bit version. But this installer right here supports both x86 and 64 bit. That is if you have 32 bit or 64 bit, it will run fine on your machine. So I'm going to click that and the download will start. So right here, the download is completed and I'm going to click on that to start the installation. I have a smart screen notification, so I'm going to click on run. Maybe this will not be captured in the record, but I'm going to click run. And right here, I'm going to select add Python 3.8 to Py. This is very important. You have to make sure you select this and click customize installation. Make sure the pip is selected and click next. This is also very important. Make sure you select install for all users and click install. So while the installation is progressing, we can go to the next step and that is to allow PowerShell to run executable files. So open PowerShell by clicking start button and typing PowerShell. Right click PowerShell and run as administrator. Click yes on the prompt. Okay, so here you're going to copy and paste this set executable policy to unrestricted. Paste it right here and select yes. I type in Y and press enter. Now we want to verify that Python is installed correctly. Okay, so we will have to wait for the installation to be completed. All right, so now once the installation is completed, we can verify that it is installed properly by typing Python does V. Python does capital V. Right, so here, right here we have Python 3.8.2. So that shows us that the Python is installed properly or installed correctly. All right, so the next step is to install a virtual environment. You can install Django without using virtual environment. But the advantage of a virtual environment is we can be working on multiple projects on the same machine. So now, what this one will do for us is, I can have a store inventory management system like this one and also have a clinical management system. And both will be running on my machine in their own containers. So now, what the store inventory management requires to run might be different from the clinical management system. So you will have to put them in their own containers, which we call virtual environments. So now, each of those environments will have or each of those applications will have a different requirements and those requirements will be installed in the environment we can enable those apps to run all right so now we will install the virtual environment by typing pip install virtual env which i already have installed on my machine all right so the next step is to create a folder in this folder is where I'm going to create all the documentation, the requirements and everything else related to this app, right? So now to create a folder or oh, this MD YouTube is how to create it in the command line. But I'm going to use the Explorer to create it. And I'm going to go to drive C and right clicking it in a new folder and call it YouTube. 
Alright, so now I want to cd into the folder. I'm gonna type cd c colon backslash YouTube. Right, so right here I'm in this YouTube folder, and in the YouTube folder is where I will now create an environment. All right, so now to create an environment, you can type Python dash M V E N V, then the name of the environment. Right, so this is the command Python dash M then the name of the environment will follow i'm going to copy it and then paste it right here so if you want your name of the environment to be django environment or whatsoever name you want to give it you're going to remove this env and then type the name of the environment here so i will name my environment venv right and press enter All right so now when i go back into the folder and click and open YouTube you can see we have venv and we have include lib scripts in the venv so this shows us that the environment is created successfully right now if I open scripts you can see we have a file called activate right this is the file that or this is the script that we will use to activate this environment and to activate the environment we're gonna cd into it first and then type scripts slash activate so right here you can see this venv in a bracket the name of your environment will appear right here in this bracket so that tells you that the environment is activated so whatever i install with a pip command will stay in this environment okay so now we want to install django right here right so i'm going to type pip install django and press enter All right, once Django is installed, the next step is to create projects. And within projects, we will now have apps that are controlled by this project. Okay, so to create a Django project, you're going to type Django admin.exe start project, then the name of the project will follow. In this case, we're naming our project Django project, All right? So I'm going to type Django admin start project and the name of the project is Django project all right if I open this folder again you can see we have uh, a folder called Django project and if I open Django project you have another folder called Django project so now I'll go back one step and the outer folder the one that contains Django project and manager py I'm gonna rename that I'm gonna go back one step right click this and name it as src so meaning our source codes so the src if i open it i should see django project and manage.py so this src is what is going to contain all the codes that we have within this environment okay so now i'm going to cd into all the src and then create the tables that come by default with Django. So now, if you look into the codes of Django, you will see that it has prepared codes that are ready to be created in a table, okay? Or in a database, all right? Now, to create these database tables that comes by default with Django, we will type Python manage.py, manage.py, migrate. All right, so now if I press enter, you'll see in the src you're gonna see this file being created db.sqlite3 right so this is the database so this is the database that comes by default with django and in this database it has created all the tables that django have by default to see the content of this database i've already installed sqlite 3 browser now i'm gonna click open database and then navigate to where i have the database YouTube and then open venv src then the database so within this database you can see we have art group art group permission now if I want to see the table structure of the art user I'm gonna click on that you can see we have ID password last login and so on all right so that is the database and now what we want to do is to have a username that we can use to log into Django. Now to create that username and a password, we'll type Django Manager PY create super user. It will ask for a username, an email address for that user, then the password, type the password again, 
so now we can start the server by typing python manager py run server all right now we can go to this address to see the app running okay i can type that address or localhost colon 8000 the installation worked successfully so this is the default django page so now to log into the admin you can type forward slash admin and then type your username and the password great so this is the admin site and within the admin site by default we have groups and users so if i click on the users you can see we have budget as a username so you can click on add user right here to create more users so this is how to install django in a windows environment and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do click on this click on the like button if you have any questions you can put them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video